President of the Volusia County Teachers Union is worried about what she fears is a growing number of teacher vacancies in the district. The union president says that the school district does a good job of recruiting new teachers, but as West Juice Claire Metz reports, she says the district needs to do more to keep them and the more veteran teachers. We've raised the floor, but we've not done anything for the ceiling. Volusia United Educators President Elizabeth Albert applauded the district when it raised teachers' starting pay to $47,500. It was a boon for those beginning their careers, but Albert says it created salary compression with little or no compensation for mid-career and veteran teachers. We do have folks that have dedicated themselves to doing this work in Volusia County Schools, and we want to make sure that they're not penalized for their experience and their mastery in teaching. In October, the school district invited 100 local teachers to participate in a retention power huddle, figure out what's causing teachers to step away. The top three issues, lack of respect concerns, salary compression, lack of support with student discipline. Teachers are hoping salary disparities get addressed in the current bargaining period. But respect, or lack of it, along with discipline, says Albert, are ongoing concerns. There are currently 193 instructional vacancies and 236 vacancies in support staff positions. Between July and December, documents show the school district made 1,406 new hires, but have lost 329 employees. We need to take a hard look at what's going on on the inside and reflect on how we can make the working conditions better so that people will stay once they get here. A school district spokesman said they are working on retention issues and are branching out when it comes to recruitment efforts. One example, a new partnership with Daytona State College where education students complete their senior internships as substitute teachers in the hopes they ultimately sign on full time. In Volusia County, Clara Metz, WESH 2 News.